at the celebration of 20 years a king and I'm standing here with the king himself. Hi to Baba. Honey, I'm good. How you feeling? Mambo. Poor Sana, 20 years man, 20 years. Uh, yeah man, it's been an amazing movement. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm just filled with gratitude tonight man. I mean today, I mean so many people that have been part of my journey here. Yeah. Me and you met a couple of years ago and you're part of my journey now and you know, I'm just grateful and I wish make all of us they move. I want to say congratulations for everything you've done. You're such an inspirational person and I was interviewing the people outside and everybody was saying how great of an individual you are, how humble you are and everybody was saying that. So in the 20 years of your career, what would you say you've learned the most? Wow, I just learned that, you know, life is simple, man. I never think about a problem, I only think about a solution. Everything. So, and that's why life is simple. No matter what comes up, there's a solution. There's no time limit. There's no speed limit. You are not moving. You, you don't, don't think that you, are, you and somebody are moving on the same speed. Okay. The, only, the, only, the only the same thing, the only thing that is the same for everybody is death, is die. That's the only thing that's the same. All of us go die. Yeah. You know, but the rest, na branch, na journey. The rest, na place where you branch. So don't ever think that, you know, oh, somebody has made it, oh, me too, I must make it. No, 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 no. Just move your movement. You're driving. Face your front. The minute you are looking at the other driver, you have removed your eye from your front. You go get accident. So face your life, move. Life is simple. Let's keep moving. One love. A lot of Africans credit you as one of the major contributors to pushing the Afrobeat sound and just the authentic African sound in this day and era, you know. And it started with African Queen when this song was the first one actually to be played on MTV. Did you know that? Uh, well, you know, um, I always appreciate that. Um, I'm happy to be part of, you know, the revolution of the new movement in music in Africa. Um, I, I'm somebody that I, I wouldn't want to take it my, alone. From Tanzania to Kenya to South Africa to, just name it, there were a whole lot of people that in that time that made things happen. And we're moving and we're growing, you understand? And um, speaking of all, MTV, Trace, um, I'm looking forward to Africa, our channel, our level, our our movement, you know. I um, appreciate all this all this um channels that came and boosted our entertainment. But I want us to validate ourselves by ourselves now, you know. I don't want us to be validated by foreign channels anymore. I want to, I want us to feel validated by ourselves because we had channels here. But we Africans respected it because it was MTV, because it was... I mean, not disrespect to them, they've, they've been doing big and all. And we just need for our own people to believe in our own stuff. And I appreciate all that, and, and that's, that's why I appreciate being part of the journey so far. And I'm looking forward to the next chapter of African entertainment. Where do you see the African music going the next couple of years? And where does Tubaba's music going the next couple of years? Well, I'm here there, I would have moved ago. Um, well, they can't really go, but one thing I know is Africa's music is undeniable. It's been there. It's been part of what everybody has been pinching from. You understand? But like I said, we've never been accepting our own stuff. We wait for people to validate. It's anyone they validate that we take. You know, but it's been there. Everybody has been pinching from our stuff. You know, there's so many things that is ours. But it's only when it goes out there and it gets recycled back to us. We don't say, oh, this is it, you know. But we've been having it since and I'm happy that, you know, the spotlight is coming and I'm happy that the world is going to have the chance to really, really feel us now. And I think we should, we should seize our stuff. I think we should seize our stuff. Uh, we, should, we should have entrepreneurs that are willing to invest in our stuff. What is the secret to the longevity? I just think that, you know, I just try to do my thing and be straight and then do stuff that is not based on the time. Yeah. Do stuff that 20 years from now you'll be able to say yes. I love it. Big up Southeast Soul. 
Put up. Big up. Big up. Big up. One love, man. Thank you so much, Uba. It's been an honor. Hi. Nice.